Hey, what's up guys? This is Liam Weagle on your Overwatch back with a new video today. It's kind of tomorrow already because the same day I'm making this video is the same day that the new patch comes out with the new skins, but for a lot of you, that is tomorrow. Yes, it's the middle of the night, but there's been some really interesting things going down on the forums and on the Overwatch Twitter. First of all, a feature that's been asked for forever is now going to be available in an upcoming patch. You will be able to change your skins before a game starts. Now, of course, this is going to depend on how quickly you load into the game. I believe you get a max of 30 seconds, give or take, and you'll be able to change a skin for any hero that you want to pick. Now, I would assume from here it is then locked when you actually get into the game and you can no longer change it. And I don't even know if this is for swapping sides yet either. We don't know. But this is a mini feature that people have asked for forever. So we're all going to be able to do that sometime soon. Moving on to the much more interesting stuff though, Uncle Jeff Goodman has commented on the forum saying that Doomfist has a couple of things coming, one change is coming in the next update. Now this is in reference to some buffs that we want to see to make Doomfist a little bit more playable. The change that is coming soon will make his primary fire more consistent, they've increased the number of bullets that he fires but lowered the damage that they do, the net result is the same damage over time, but there shouldn't be as much variance from shot to the next. Along the same lines, we've changed his spread pattern to help consistency as well. There is at least one more thing we're testing that won't hit until a little bit later, which you guys will see once you get closer to the next PTR, as Jeff noted, and we'll get on to the next thing in a second. But Doomfist is looking to get some quality of life buffs to his kit, consistency is always a good thing. If a hero isn't as consistent as they were before, they're better and they're buffed and that's what we want, but we don't want Doomfist to just be one-shotting everybody from everywhere. Now that his left click will be more reliable, that's one part of his kit, I think. If you go and shoot a wall right now on live with Doomfist, you'll see how varied his spread is. The bullets never go in the same place. From the next patch, it's looking like that's gonna be way more consistent and then maybe there's some more hitbox changes coming in the future or cooldown changes they don't specify but this isn't the only change they're going to do to Doomfist. Now moving on and this is some really interesting stuff that Jeff Kaplan says Someone asked, since Jeff is still around, will Torb get some love too in the next PTR like Doomfist? Jeff Kaplan's response is short, but it's very important. He says, Torb is on the list, but no changes on the next PTR. He's going to take some time to do what we want to do. So does this scream Torb rework? The thing about Torb is he's actually pretty good. He's good in matchmaking because it's unorganized and pros even use him in the support slot at times to be able to lay down extra fire on defense at the expense of some healing and you're swapping out that risk for the armor packs and the fact that molten core is pretty much a no button but it looks like jeff's talking about maybe making some significant changes to him which kind of surprises me because out of the two builders in the game he's actually by far the strongest and the most consistent but the question is who's the next hero that we're going to get if that's going to significantly change what torb can do then maybe torb will need to be changed in the future a lot of people are asking for a new defense hero for the new hero, and I just don't think that's going to happen, but maybe this kind of confirms that it will. If you was going to rework Torb, guys, what would you do? Let me know in the comments section down below. And the same for Doomfist. How would you change these two heroes? They're clearly looking to make them better, at least in the quality of life department and consistency, so how would you go about changing that yourself? Now, just so you guys know, we've spoke about some of these before. Here are all of the heroes that they're looking to change, but I won't cover all of them as we have gone into detail before, but I will also flash up on screen some of the more interesting things Jeff has said. So, May, Sombra, Symmetra, and Hanzo are the other heroes that they're looking at changing on the PTR. We just don't know when this PTR patch is going to go through, and since Torbjorn definitely is in the next one, maybe half of these heroes will change. So we might see a Doomfist change, maybe a Symmetra and a May one, or Sombra might come through as well. So I don't know how these heroes are going to be buffed, and in my opinion, they're all quality of life, apart from Hanzo, who looks to be getting a rework from what Jeff has said in the past, at least in the Scatter Arrow department. 
So guys, let us know what you think, any heroes out of this list that you would change and how you would like to change them. Of course be realistic, because even though they're looking at Sombra, she currently dominates certain maps. So what do they do with these heroes? They've already said they want some of them to be specific on certain maps like Symmetra, May, and Sombra. So where are they going to go with this? Let us know what you would do and be sure to drop a like, as it does help us out and it really lets us know that you're enjoying the content. And as always, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when our videos go live. Have a great day as always guys, take care and peace people.